Hi everybody, it's me, Anna. I'm back for video blog number 13. Um, I am sitting inside of a tire right now because I'm making huarachis, um, otherwise known as Mexican tire shoes. Um, these shoes uh, are worn by the Tarahumara Indians in northern Mexico and uh, they run hundreds and hundreds of miles wearing these shoes that are made out of tires. Basically you just cut out the sole and then you use cord to attach it to your foot or in my case I'm gonna try making them with deer hide that I got from a tanning factory that shut down. I'm doing this because um, I'm, I'm all about uh, self-reliance and also about sustainability so we're recycling tires and making something cool out of them. You can make a pair of shoes for about a dollar. Um, and also because um, a lot of athletic shoe companies that are out there outsource all of their manufacturing to other countries um, in order to save money and because of it the, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, American jobs that are just gone and uh, it's really really detrimental to our economy and uh, not just shoe companies do it but you know 90% of all this stuff that you find in your house is made in China and uh, I don't support that at all. So, um, this is my own little protest. I'm going to try to wear these while I'm running across the U.S., um, but first I have to make them and see, see how I do in them. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, the project's going really, really well. We have some new members of our team. Uh, Matt Scott Camerselt came on board, and he's an amazingly brilliant um, photographer and videographer, and um, he's kind of like a cultural anthropologist, I guess. He has his finger on the pulse of pretty much anything that's going on in the world. And uh, he, makes sh he makes sure that, you know, when Robot and I are in our little art cave over here um, working on the project, he, he kind of uh, brings back the reality to us and makes sure that everything is staying really, really relevant to the times. And also we got Jake Brown, too. Jake Brown is going to be the manager uh, while we're on the road, and he is going to help us figure out the logistics, hotels, and he's going to help us bring together communities of runners, artists, veterans, normal people, weird people, whoever, and uh, so we can all, all make a difference in one collaborative effort. Um, also, we got Mark Sandoval, who has promised to do the social media for the run. So he's going to help us stay connected electronically um, via Facebook and Twitter, and that's a huge job. And he's uh, taken that on out of the goodness of his heart. And uh, it's just so cool. Um, and it's also pushing me too because I, um, I'm an, I've always like done everything by myself and never wanted to ask anybody for help because uh, not because I was humble, <laughs> but it was because I, I'm a control freak and. Um, and I don't trust other people, <laughs> but um, I, I do now because um, it seems like everybody has really, really great ideas that are, that are way, way better than mine. And so when I let go of the reins and I let other people take them, um, I'm always, always satisfied with the results. And um, working together is so much better than just working by yourself because not only um, do you have a better end product, but you uh, end up, uh, everyone feels like they're adding value, and because they are. And um, I'm learning that lesson in spades right now, because I, every day now, I'm just in awe of like the creativity and the brilliance of the people who have shown up and who have volunteered their time, and all the people who want to make a difference, so they're just giving it all they got to. Um, so I want to thank everybody who has been involved thus far and um, also uh, want to keep you updated. We have like a lot of cool, cool art projects that we've been working on. They're all in the works right now in our little art factory and we're going to be releasing them very soon and I'm really excited to share those with you as well. So stay tuned and um, there's more exciting stuff on the way.